So today we're going to look at the number E. Um, e is an irrational number with an approximate value of 2.71828. Um, goes on forever without a pattern or never ending, you know, it's kind of like pi. Um, when uh, you look on your calculator, you've noticed there's a log button and there's also an LN button. Um, the LN button is log base E. So see, that's LN. Um, log button is log base 10. Um, e is called the natural number, and so exponential functions with a base E um, are called having like the natural base. So f of x equals e to the x. That's the exponential function with the natural base. Um, logarithmic functions with base e are called natural logarithms. And that's um, abbreviated ln. Um, and so f of x being equal to log base e of x is often abbreviated as f of x equals ln x. So when we're writing an equation um, in logarithmic form and it has a base of e, I mean the rules are not any different. So this is um, log base e of 24 equals x, but I want you to write that as ln 24 equals x. Like this one is log base e of x equals 9, so I'd want you to write ln of x equals 9. So log base e of x is the same as ln x. Um, here, this would be log base e of 72 equals x plus 5. And so I'd want you to write ln of 72 equals x plus 5. And then going in the other direction, um, exponential form. So this is e to the 58th equals x. This is e to the x equals 6. Remember, this is understood base e. Um, this is e to the 32 equals x minus 9. Um, simplifying, so when we condense and whatnot and expand, we're going to use uh, those properties that we've been using. The rules are the same, so since our bases are the same, we're going to multiply um, in this case, so that would be natural log 48. Um, here we would need to first condense this, so we're going to bring this 2 as a power of the 3, so that would be ln of 8, I'm sorry, ln of 9, I did 2 cubed in my head, but that would be 3 squared ln of 9. And so then since we're subtracting here, we are going to um, divide 63 over 9. So this would be ln 7. Um, over here, we would apply this 1 3rd power to the 64. So that's the cube root of 64, which is 4. Apply this second power to the x. So that's ln x squared. So then this would be ln of 4x squared. And then expanding, again, same rules. So it's really nothing different that we're doing here. We're just using a different base. Um, here, we'd want to bring the 2 down first. So then we need big parentheses. Um, and then this would be ln of a cubed minus ln of b. So then that would be 2 times 3 ln, ln of a minus ln of b. Um, so then you could go on to write that as 6 ln of a minus 2 ln of b. Um, and then here, think of this as a one-third power, bring that down. So we have this, and then we want to expand, that'd be ln of m squared plus ln of n. So then that'd be one-third 2 ln m plus ln n. I'm going to get a blank piece of paper here because this is getting messy. Um, so then that would be 2 thirds ln m plus 1 third ln n.